Hey, it's Kirsten. I'm going to do a quick tutorial how I add a texture to the background of seamless paper. So this is my daughter and this is actually chestnut seamless paper by Savage. Um, she added, she edited this picture, but she added a, a color balance layer to change the chestnut to something a little bit brighter. Anyway, so this is what I'm going to do. So first I do the object selection tool. Um, you probably don't have to do it on Seamless, but it tells Photoshop what you want to select. Then I zoom up just to make sure it gets all the little pieces. If not, you have to go to the quick selection, click on the plus. It might be a little hard because I shoot very monochromatic, <laughs> which is problematic usually because it's hard to detect where one color ends and another begins. I'm wondering if I can cut out this little piece. if I can do her neck here. All right, that's going to be that's going to have to be good enough for now, I think. Whoops. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, so everything else looks fantastic. I'm going to hit select and mask. And then I'm going to get the tips of her hair and her hand. That might take care of some of it because you can see it. I'm going to trace around the top of her head so it doesn't look like she's wearing a football helmet. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and click OK, outputting her onto a layer mask. Okay, so I can see straight away. I'm just going to fix real quick. Let me just get a brush here. Whoops. <laughs> I can see a little strip. There's a boo-boo here. Okay, so we're going to turn on the background and then click on the background layer. So let me make this so you can see it better. Okay, so clicking on the background layer, we're going to go File, Place Embedded or Linked. Either one will take you to the same place. Um, let's see. I have a red here. We're going to hit Place. Hold the shift key down if you're in Creative Cloud. And then you can kind of put the, however you want, the hot spot behind her head there. Just go a little bit beyond. And then double click. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do here is go up to my, uh, go up to your adjustments. If they're not showing, you can always click Window Adjustments, and then they'll be over here. And I am going to do a Color Balance layer. I'm going to right-click on the Color Balance layer, and I'm going to clip it to the texture. All right, first I'm going to try Shadows. And I'm going to move the shadows a little bit redder. I'm going to try the midtones. I kind of like, ah, there we go. That's what I want. Okay, that's gorgeous. Um, now I'm going to click on the texture again and just see if I like the opacity. 
opacity of it. I kind of do. I kind of love it. Okay, so um, now if you want to see before and after, you just click on the eyeball here. So this is after, obviously. I think that looks pretty fabulous. Adding the texture makes me hate the original. <laughs> anyway, click on the three lines, flatten it. When you go to save it, hit save as, and then I usually do whatever the number is, 111, and I click right in here and I'll just add texture. Just in case the people don't like the texture, you're not going to override your original edit. You have a your original edit and then save it and then add a texture and then rename it and save it. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Bye.